picked up this Predator Hemi to put on the scare chair. And I went ahead and removed all the governor, um, all the linkage, and I picked up a uh, torque converter for it. And I'm gonna mount it on this um, mobility chair. And the reason I put a torque converter on it is because it used to do wheelies when I had a torque converter on it, so I wanted to add another torque converter to it. And anyway, before I do that though, I'm gonna have to um, weld this wheelie bar because this thing actually does wheelies with the torque converter. But underneath here, it's the uh, mounts are kind of messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this wheelie bar first before I add that, that uh, Hemi to this thing. Yeah, you can see the parts under here where it's not welded, so uh, that's not going to hold up to a very good wheelie. Alright, that looks pretty good. Actually, should you run a piece of metal right here to reinforce it? Nice thick bead on there. This should help it a little bit. Now I gotta add this torque converter on here, but I gotta put it in this up position. If I mount it down here, it literally um, touches the axle because this frame is so small on that project. So I'm gonna have to mount it. I have to mount the torque converter in this in this position up here. Alrighty. See the thing is though, with this on here, I'm gonna have to probably make a custom exhaust for this thing. Because I do not think the um, stock exhaust box will fit on here. <laughs> or either gonna have to notch this torque converter, one or the other. All right, I bought a little bit wider spacer for this um, torque converter. So it puts the pulleys more in alignment. So I bought an extra spacer and then the spacer that came with the kit. Because it kicks this pulley out farther so it'll actually be in alignment better. So then the torque converter doesn't eat belts as fast. It'll last a lot longer when the um, pulleys are in alignment. And then I bought this extra long bolt to make up for the space that the uh, extra spacer pulls the pulley out. There we go. Yeah, see, now you can see the pulleys are um, in total alignment right now. All right, take off all these side panels on this thing. down a little bit or add some links to the chain that's what I like about this breaker man you can make the chain any link you want real quick it's nice I'm gonna have to take this riser mount off because the way the angle of the chain is it actually hits inside the torque converter yeah as you can see the chain it hits down inside the torque converter on one of the ribs one of the ribs right there so uh, literally I'm gonna have to take that mount off this riser mount and just mount it flat. Alrighty, so I took off that uh, that riser mount 
the riser motor mount and I just mounted it on the actual mount itself and now I gotta really shorten this chain up again. Actually, have some adjustment too. I can tighten it up. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. All right, so now I'm going to hook the uh, the throttle cable up. I'm going to use this stock factory linkage. Just hook it right there, and then hook it to the factory um, linkage here. So that should work. All right. All right. So that works right there. You just hook it to this little rod. Maybe I'll put a little bend in the rod so it doesn't touch this linkage here. And it should be good to go. All right, then I'll put the little factory return spring on uh, the cable. This little uh, fitting onto the cable and onto the rod at the same time. Tighten this baby on here. So that'll work. Yeah, these are just pieces from the old, uh, from the old governor. So that'll work. So, to mount a tank on this thing, I can't mount the tank on the engine anymore because the torque converter is in the way. So I'll probably get to mount it like up here, up a ways. And to do that, to make it easy, maybe I'll just weld on this bracket right here. Because the tank will bolt right to any of those spots. And it'll be up out of the way. So I'll probably do that. Alright, gonna weld that bracket on there. Man, that thing's on there. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, what's nice about it, it, you can move it, it fits in these holes, but you can move it all around, so. Yeah, see, it's nice. It fits right there, and it keeps it above the, uh, the throttle linkage. So then I just build a bracket from here to here, and we'll be good to go for the gas tank. All right, then I'm gonna weld up these two little, little pieces of metal into an L bracket. For the uh, for the uh, back mount on the tank, all right. There's my welded up homemade uh, welded up homemade um, tank bracket. All right, got the mount on there for the gas tank. Got the mount on this side. So now I just gotta do the exhaust and the fuel line. And I think I'm pretty much it. Alright, I use a stock flange off the stock predator muffler, and then now I'm gonna weld this pipe onto it. And at least that way I'll have clearance with the chain because last time with just a standard header pipe, it would hit the chain. So this here literally gotta come, it has to come off the head straight up, and then I can um have clearance for the chain. So yeah, that'll, that'll work though. All right. Well, the rest of that puppy right there. Got the pipe on there. And it looks pretty sweet. Looks like it comes out in the right spot. Clears the chain nice, which is a problem I had before, but now it clears it, so it's really good. Put the torque converter facing up. So now all I gotta do is just put the uh, air cleaner on, got the throttle hooked up, got the bracket done for the tank, motor mount down. It's pretty much, I think, I'm good to go. Got the motor mount mounted, or the uh, tank mounted there. That tank is on there. Totally clears the uh, torque converter. Yeah, so looks like it came out pretty good. Now I'll just have to try it out.
button her up. Alrighty, got her all done. Got the exhaust on, the tank bracket, torque converter. Got the uh, everything lined up. Came out pretty nice. Everything fits in there pretty nice. Nice tight, nice tight package in here for such a small um, vehicle.